YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. Bro, I promise to God, every time I'd be like, you know what, I'm about to get, you know, a little spicy, make a video, you know, I'm gonna, you know, get ahead of myself, get a little schedule going to get everything set up. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep. I swear, I swear that shit never happens. I'm out here trying to make content for you guys and Konami's blowing me up with meta clapping updates, my boy. I just saw that they had new updates for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. The boy just got out of bed. You don't even want to know what's going on below the microphone right now. And um, I'm going to be getting in here to talk to you about it real fast, my boys. So let's jump into it and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links changes. But before we do that, please crush that like button and subscribe to the YT Dan Duel Links channel for more dank Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content that I stay up all fucking night for. And if you really want to support your boy, please use the Amazon link in the description below. It really helps support this channel. It provides just a small financial donation to the boy whenever you make any regular purchase. So use the link in the description, support your boy through Amazon, which he was already using. Let's jump into it. All right, my boys, we're here. Uh, new rules for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. We have a forbidden limited list update, and then we also got KC Cup info. I'm just gonna take a quick peek at this KC Cup stuff um, to just see really fast what uh, we're looking at. So my DP was the 13,000. I told you I didn't even bother with it. I just played my few duels after I played a couple extra games. Look at these details. I end up doing 63 games, 30 victories, 47% win rate with seven consecutive victories. That was pretty tough to even uh, break seven consecutive victories, but it definitely was uh, a lot of fun playing through. So I guess what do I get in terms of rewards? Like I told you before, it doesn't really matter. So it really wasn't worth the grind. An SR ticket, prismatic, and a freaking badge of some gold. Whoop de damn do. But what I'm here to really whoop de do about is this. The upcoming forbidden and limited list dropping on december 15th just in time for christmas my boy i want to thank obelisk for this bounty i'm about to receive let's jump right into it my boys so uh forbidden limited list they are banning cockatiss banned oh my god he is forbidden they destroyed cockatiss okay now of course this man deserved to be clapped Cockatus is one of the most infamous monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Send this man to the deepest, darkest realms of the shadows. I don't even see why Konami even thought it was okay to bring out something like Cockatus, a monster that can attack through de attack from defense, use an effect where he can't be targeted, can't be fucking destroyed. Why did you even think that this was ever okay to play? It's beyond me. Additionally, they're dropping Karakuri Merchant to 177 to one. They're putting Magician of Dark Illusion back to two, should have never put it to three. This is what I actually suggested. Now, what's funny is I made a video and I specifically said that we need to nerf Shiranui. Solitaire is too good, put Solitaire at two. I think that that would break Shiranui. Um, and make it just, you know, a little bit, make it a little slower. So it makes it a little bit uh, more easier to deal with. And this is exactly what they did. They went ahead and put the two, but that video I'm telling you about is not even gonna get uploaded because it's completely irrelevant uh, because it was about this shit. Um, they're also gonna put Sun Saga to two. Oh, wait, they're killing the whole bitch. Oh no, they're killing the meta. They're killing the meta. Oh, they oh they even killed Dragoonity. Oh my God. Ah! They slapped it in Okay, they slapped. Okay, they slapped invocation. They slapped reverse fusion. I mean, fusion reverse. And I'm actually upset about this because I was enjoying playing this in Gladiator Beast, but you know, it was okay to go ahead and put this at three because you know, it's Gladiator Beast. You can still use that. They slapped rod, they slapped navigation, even hit assault armor for good fucking measure. 
Uh, no longer on the list. Dragoonity Lance, they're giving it back to you. Hero Shadow Scout gonna hit the flip side and get busted. And Domper for Hire is no longer on the list. Wow. Now this right here, if it wasn't so late, I mean, you know, I would probably be a little more excited. But this is spicy. So first off, I wanna say, Thank you, Konami, for clapping this stuff. But honestly, I'm going to straight up say this. Konami is nerfing this stuff because they're trying to promote Xyz. They want people playing uh, Shark. They want people playing other stuff. And if you're wondering uh, why my eye is watering, it is not watering because I am so happy of this ban list. Um, moments before this, <laughs> my baby poked me in the eye. It, it was is very painful, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, now... When the lights is on your boy, my eye is not watering the tears <laughs> of a pain. <laughs> so yes, we're looking at this, my boy. I'm super happy to see this. It's absolutely disgusting. God damn. All right. So yeah, I'm super excited to see this. This is absolutely disgusting. I'm glad they finally went ahead and nerfed this stuff. But what I think is funny they went ahead and clapped Dragoonity because they thought Dragoonity was way too good. But let's read some of this flavor text that they put on there. Um, this card will be forbidden. Okay. Invococcus. This card will be forbidden as many decks have an extreme difficulty dealing with it, leading to less deck diversity in the metagame. Well, duh, fuck, man, come on. And then here is Karakiri Merchant 177. This card will be limited to decrease the consistency of the Karakiri deck and reduce the, their ability to take control of the field when going first. Real talk. The only thing they need to do is use Ancient Gearbox. Ancient Gearbox can go and search out this card and put this in the hand, they can go nuts. How are they going to get Ancient Gearbox from the deck to the hand to use the effect so they can play Karakiri? I don't know, but Ancient Gearbox can't search this card and put it right in the hand very easily. So um, we'll see if anything happens with that. But that's pretty funny um, that they're going to hand knock that down to one. Limited to two, Magician of Dark Illusion. This card is limited to prevent Dark Magician decks from having access to to generic limit two card. And yes, they did need to hit this and put this at two because they also followed it up. Uh, Where's navigation at? What'd they do to navigation? Yeah, they put navigation to three. Um, and then they also put rod to three, which is great because now you can't fucking play three navigation and three fucking rod. It's just, oh my God, it's so irritating. All right, Sheer Nui Solitaire. This card ha will be limited to Promote deck diversity as Shiranui decks have been highly prevalent in ranked duels for a long time. Now, what's funny is, man, I made a whole video called Shiranui Must Die, and it was just basically me ranting and talking about Shiranui and how they've been prominent through all these weeks and all these different metas. And I literally said nuking Sol Solitaire would definitely be a good choice, but I never imagined that they would put Solitaire and Sun Saga on here at two. I love that they did that, but that let's just continue. Sheer Nui Sun Saga. This card will be limited as many decks have an extremely difficult time dealing with it, leading to less deck diversity in the metagame. So basically they're saying they're sick of seeing fucking Sheer Nui and uh Invoke Cockatus in the metagame. Fair choice. Uh Sheer Nui Spirit Master. This card will be limited to promote deck diversity because too many people are playing Sheer Nui shit and ranked. Uh, Christra Citri, they didn't touch Quan, so we happy. You're like, this card is limited to reduce Christron decks win rate as they have been dominant for a long period of time. Putting this down to two, I think this is that. Yeah, two. Um, it will hit the deck, but you know, I think people, I mean, normally you only really see this effect pop off once or twice and then they kind of get around with other things, but this is a, a nice little nerf to them and also scrap recycler this at two i've seen a lot of people playing this card in chris Drons. a lot of people just play one but it's just a nice little uh nerf that they are including because it's just commonly used in the chris Tron deck and then also gen x controller um they're hitting gen x controller because people too many people are using it in chris Drons. 
which I think is pretty interesting because, you know, even though they're using Gen X controller in Crystron, uh, most people want to run that at two or maybe uh, two, maybe uh, one anyway. You know, three is, I think, is a bit excessive, but I think it's more to just kind of brick up the rest of these choices, which are is pretty good. Um, and then we got Dragoonity Sinatus. This card is being hit to two. Um, it says this card will be limited to prevent Dragoonity decks from having easy access to uh, generic level twos. And basically, this card is really good and basically helps you get out your big level 10 uh, Dragoonity monster and banish everything up. Now, what I think is really good is that they're putting fucking uh, Invocation at three and Alistair's already at three. So you can't run um, fucking three invokes. So you got to run like two Alistair's and maybe one Invocation, which is fine. Um, and that's fair. Um, you can't use refusion. So, I mean, or maybe one Alistair, one refusion, one invoke something, you know, you just can't play three of these bitches or two of these bitches with three Alistair's. That's just too much shit. So I'm glad that they're doing something to that. Fuck Alistair, fuck invocation. I'm glad that shit is fucking dying. Um, fusion reverse, uh, magician circle fusion reverse. You know, that's just pretty much hitting, uh, Alistair to invoke. Uh, Magician's Navigation. Uh, this card is being limited to promote deck diversity as Dark Magician decks have been highly prevalent in ranked duels for a long time. I like how they just say that. It's been running for a long time. It needs to die. <laughs> so basically, get out of the way and um, come on, Xyz. Come on, uh, come on, Shark Dream. Come on, Kite. Come on, bring, bring some Xyz decks up in here. All right, I see what they're doing here. And then Magician's Rod. This card has been limited to two uh limited to three as magician navigation will be also limited so basically they want to brick this shit up brick it up brick it up i enjoy it i love it thank you very much fuck dark magician as well fuck them uh assault armor <laughs> oh my god it's just so funny it's like i'm just recording this right off the cuff and honestly um it's too late for this shit and i'm supposed to be in bed but whatever assault armor uh, the limitation to this card will be eased as its power level is acceptable in the current meta. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, whatever they're putting this to three, that's fine. And then as you know, they're unlimiting these cards. They're setting them free and we're going to be getting in there for game. So did they change the skill list? Uh, I don't think they did anything to skills. Yeah. They did not do anything to skills. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I gotta get some rest to nurse this eye. I've been wounded by my baby, but it's time for me to get out of here, my boy. So thank you so much for watching. I'm excited for this ban list. Good job, Konami, on clapping these decks that have been running rampant for way too long. Shirinui deserved it, um, and, Kaka and Kakatis deserved some Kakatis as well. <laughs> so as always, my boys, keep it dang.